What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple just released the RC or release candidate build for iOS 16.6 just a week after the release of beta 5. Now along with this release, Apple also dropped the release candidate build for iPadOS 16.6, macOS 13.5, watchOS 9.6, tvOS 16.6, HomePodOS 16.6, and iOS 15.7.8 for those on older devices. And you'll notice that the size for this update is going to be large, 5.38 gigabytes for me on my 12 Pro Max. The reason that size is large is because I'm going from a beta to a final release. The RC is just the final release for beta testers, so that is a large size as expected. That's not really indicative of a lot of new features or changes, unfortunately. And if we head over into our settings, general about, and then on to 16.6, the new build number is 20G75. And if we go down to the modem firmware, that is unchanged for me at 3.80.01. It's the same as beta 5, at least for the 12 Pro Max. Okay, so now let's talk about the RC build of 16.6. And you guys know the drill. I'll be covering every new feature and change in the official What's New video when this software rolls out to everybody next week. We'll talk about that here in a moment. Now, the first thing I noticed and the first thing I checked for, of course, is the contact key verification, which is still missing here in 16.6 this is the most bizarre thing because this was there in beta 1 it was at least in the search and settings you were not able to go into that section but contact key verification showed up here and apple also had the url scheme you know in the software but after beta 1 it just completely disappeared and it is still not back even in the final you know rc version of 16.6 so this feature might be rolled out server side at a later date, or maybe it just you know launches in the public release next week, or Apple might just end up delaying this feature until iOS 17, even though they said this will be coming in iOS 16 earlier on. Now, if we head into our settings, general about, and then into coverage, you will notice that the verbiage down here has changed. So it's a little bit shorter than it was on 16.5.1. So you can see 16.5.1 on the right, 16.6 over here on the left, just a little bit shorter there. And also the URL scheme has been added for this coverage page. iOS 16.6 also adds a new security prompt for iCloud for Windows. So if you have an iPhone and a Windows computer that are not on the same Wi-Fi network, your iPhone's gonna show a new prompt when trying to sign in to iCloud for Windows with a verification code. And really the majority of changes in this update are just backend code changes. So whether that be verbiage changes or just minor changes throughout, there are quite a few changes code wise in the wallet application. So you might notice a lot of changes in wallet if you pay close attention and you will see them in the code right here. Now also Apple Pay Later could be rolling out to more people in this update. So I do have early access as you can see right there, but I have had a lot of people tell me that they still don't have access. So maybe with 16.6, we'll see you know a further rollout of that feature where you can you know pay for purchases over time with no interest. There's also some code changes in the home application related to check-in and matter accessories. There's also a recommendation to update the home architecture if you're not already. And this update also adds support for the new MacBook Air, Mac Studio, and Mac Pro that were just released last month when seeing them on the network. And thanks to Steve Moser for pointing out these minor code changes. And I did want to mention because I've had some people ask me recently, the Siri screen recording is still not back. And this is another very strange thing that Apple did. They released this in 16.5, I believe beta one, and it never reappeared after that. So if I try to get Siri to screen record, it says this, record my screen. It just says, sorry, I can't help you with that here. And as far as the release notes go, as of the time of recording this, Apple has not published those. However, they've been very sparse really since beta one. So I would not expect any surprises in the release notes for the RC build of 16.6. It's mostly just going to be things related to home and Xcode, most likely, because that's what we saw in a beta five. As far as the performance goes, I am going to run a quick Geekbench test and compare that to the previous versions. But overall, just you know, from a natural feel of 16.6, it feels great. It feels solid. I mean, 
I think it's a little bit better than 16.5 and 16.5.1 as far as smoothness goes and overall UI bugs. I am still having the notification center bug where I swipe up and you can see the lag right there. I've had that for quite a while now. So that unfortunately has still not been fixed with 16.6, but you know, overall performance has been great so far. So I'm just gonna run a quick Geekbench 6 test and see how it compares to previous versions. So I scored a 2080 on the single core and a 4985 on the multi-core and compared to beta 5, really, really minor difference, especially on the multi-core, a little bit of a bigger difference on the single core, but I would not expect a really big difference at all going from beta five to the RC. It's most likely going to be pretty much exactly the same in terms of performance. And then as far as battery life goes, unfortunately, I've not been using this as my full-time, you know, software version on my main device. I'm testing out iOS 17, but from those who have been running 16.6 throughout the betas, they've said that the battery life is pretty much exactly the same as it was on 16.5 and 16.5.1. So I would not expect a big change either better or worse on 16.6 here it's probably going to stabilize around what we've seen in the past couple of months all right so now let's talk about what to expect next because we are going to see the final release of ios 16.6 most likely next week on the 24th july 24th or potentially as late as the 26th is when we will see ios 16.6 get released to the public now apple does typically choose mondays for the final releases so if i had to guess on a specific day it would be right there on the 24th and then after ios 16.6 releases we might go a while without getting a new beta so ios 16.7 is probably going to come at some point in time, but if Apple may do exactly what they did last year where they release just an RC build, then that's like the only thing for beta testers and then a public release the following week. But we may not even get that until later on, potentially even in September, since Apple is now focusing primarily on iOS 17. And for those wondering if 16.6 .6 is going to be the final release and Apple's just going to push out rapid security response updates instead, I don't think so. I think that we will see a 16.7. That way Apple can push out 16.7.1, 16.7.2 later on, you know, potentially, you know, even as late as next year, once iOS 17 is, you know, all the way into like the 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 area so i would expect to see a 16.7 and that's probably going to be the final point release after that we're probably just going to see double point updates until you know ios 16 is just completely irrelevant which is coming up very soon but anyways as far as ios 17 beta 4 if you are testing out ios 17 i would expect to see that fourth developer beta this week so the week of the 17th we could see it as early as today or as late as thursday the 20th somewhere between there. And then the public beta two should come out a few days after or as late as next week. So that is iOS 16.6, the RC or release candidate build. Like I mentioned, I will touch on a few other features and changes in the official what's new video next week when that 16.6 gets pushed out to the general public. There are a few more that I wanted to save for that video. That way I'm not just repeating myself in back-to-back -back videos about 16.6. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the ios 16.6 what's new video along with more ios 17 coverage but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon